By the way, you can call me Al. Okay, Al. Can you tell me about your theory of relativity? Well, of course. Isn't that why I'm here? Well, yes. And Al, start from the very beginning, please. Okay, let's see. Boom, bam, whoosh, ba 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 boom. Then there is planet Earth, and it evolved around 4.6 billion no, years. No, no, not from that very beginning. The very first time you thought about the theory of relativity. Oh, that beginning. Well, you can see very well that I am a little crazy from the way I act. Here's some proof. When I was 21 years old, I was an undergraduate at Swiss Federal Polytechnic in Zurich, Switzerland. My professors thought I was a total goofball, having no idea that my name would one day be synonymous with genius. After my graduation, no one would hire me. One of my friends got me a job as a patent clerk. It was way out of my field but it gave me loads of time to dwell on the universe. In 1905, apparently my miracle year, I published four ingenious papers. The first paper was on the photoelectric effect. I remember it said there's a particle called the photon. The second paper was on the existence of atoms. The third paper was on my famous equation E equals mc squared. It simply means E energy equals matter, and matter can become energy. Lastly, and most importantly, the fourth paper, which was on my theory of relativity. I had two theories. The first is my special theory of relativity. I was riding on a bus one day. I looked back at the clock tower, and in my imagination, as I reached the speed of light, the clock tower hands were frozen in time. I remember it was like a storm broke in my mind. Then I thought, the faster you race through space, the slower I move through time. This is the special theory of relativity. This means that time and space are greatly joined together. After the special theory of relativity, I went to the theory that will explain time but also gravity. And this is called the general theory of relativity. This theory went against nearly two centuries of scientific thought and my hero, Sir Isaac Newton. In space, it's like gravity has been turned off. There is no such thing as gravitational pull. The Earth has shaped space around me and space is pushing me on the ground. What I have discovered is that space is curved. In conclusion, I had a new theory of gravity and a new theory of the universe.